So guys, welcome to the vlog. We've got lots of grass to cut. Got the GoPro setter. Let's roll this time lapse. Annual 2010. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read you the comic of this Undertaker against Shawn Michaels. This truly is gonna be a match for the <laughs> ages. This man Shawn Michaels is looking to end Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania and prove the once and for all that he is the showstopper. What happened? So I've just got off a call with Tom and Joel. It seems like forever since I was last in a call them, so it was nice to actually sit there and literally talk to them for ages. And then Tom decided that we all play this game, which is extremely annoying, and watch, let's see if I can do, no, no, okay, you guys need to try this, call Daddy Long Legs, and tell me what your score is, but uh, yeah, I've just been chilling out, and like I said, Tom tweeted me and said, jump in the call, and I did, and we've literally been talking for like six hours, it's, it was nice, it was nice to catch up. I'm watching Nepo, and he's opening packs for the FIFA team of the season, these blue cards here. He just got three blue team of the season cards, back to back to back. Opened one pack, got a blue. Opened another pack, got a blue. Opened another pack, got a blue. Three packs, three blue cards. I should go back on FIFA. I was actually going to go on FIFA today. Um, I was in a Skype call with... Tom and Joel and I said I'm going to stream, if you're on a Skype call I'll stream, uh, we'll go on FIFA, see how FIFA is and then I was kind of like I want to stream but I don't want to play FIFA if that makes any sense, I wanted to play but I didn't want to play which is kind of the feeling that a lot of people get when it comes to FIFA and one of the tough things, the fe tough feelings people get when it comes to streaming and I did it for a long time, like over a hundred and something days of, of streaming and not really going, I want to stream today. Really excited to do it. So I know I really wanted to jump on today, but at the same time, I just didn't really want to play FIFA. I need to find a new game that I can just jump on and stream every couple of days and, and actually enjoy it. Um, I gotta get back on the streaming thing, even if it's just a couple of days a week. I really need to get a frame for this, don't I, guys? I think I'm uh, doing a bit of disrespect to Jeremy with this signed poster, because considering he only done a run of 100 of these, and signed them personally himself, I think I need to get a, a, a frame for this, and put in a frame. We're in a bit of a, a GoPro workshop right now, getting all my mounts ready, cleaning off the lens for the GoPro, and it, it still kills me guys, there's a scratch on my lens, it literally kills me, you can see it there, um, a couple of people were actually asking me if it's actually a scratch, and it definitely, there, that's it there, definitely a scratch, it doesn't impair the footage too much, but this invention that I created, with this case, the fake GoPro case, is pretty solid, what I do, put a lens cover sized microfiber cloth there, and then the screen, or the lens protector that they give to you with the case, put over the top of it, which means I always got a microfiber cloth with me everywhere I go but like I said go for a workshop time making sure everything's clean and ready to use I just thought I'd update you guys on this thing as well because I've been using it uh, most of today actually uh, I've had it in my bag uh, when I've needed it I've been able to put my phone on it and stuff like that and um, it was at four and I've had it plugged in twice for about an hour each time um, into my phone and, and it went down one bar which isn't too bad so for 10 quid take it around with you as you can see that's the size of it smaller than a normal mobile phone as you can see there's my iPhone 4s and it's smaller than that so I'd advise it R really good investment if you're out and about all the time so guys that's me done with the vlog 
for tonight. Um, little update on my ankle. My ankle's feeling a lot better than it was two days ago. The strain is kind of going away. I've been trying to move it around and, and stay active with it. Um, I don't want to be sat around waiting for it to seize up and blow up and just be sat around, I want to be moving it, moving it around, flexing it and stuff like that because I think what it is is the ligaments and the tendons around my ankle have just stretched and have shocked and now they're kind of just going back to normal again which has knocked me off training this week, I was gutted because I wanted to do T25 this week, I wanted to start this week but um, it's bank holiday on Monday so I'm hoping, I'm, I'm literally got my fingers crossed that my ankle's okay for Monday so I can start T25 again on Monday but like I said it's feeling okay now but I'm out of here so if you enjoyed the video remember to give a thumbs up if you want to hit that subscribe button I'll speak to you guys later peace Tom was moaning that I didn't say fist bump yesterday so everybody hit that fist bump bye